Hey guys, it's Robert here, also known as Lago Flacco 12 and I got a bunch of things for Christmas this year, and this is going to be my Christmas video where I'm going to show you what I got for Christmas. I got way more this year than last year, and I'm really fortunate to have all of this. So let's get into this. So uh, I got my Microsoft Wired desktop um, mouse and keyboard. I really like it. I got it at the Microsoft store, and uh, it looks really nice, and I like it a lot. Next, we got Windows 8 Pro. Uh, this is from my grandparents. My grandparents are really rich, and they got me a lot of things, and I'm really fortunate to have all this. And uh, I've seen it at the Microsoft Store before, and it looks really nice, and uh, I can't wait to check that out. Um, I got a lot of cash. I don't even know how much I have. I probably have like $250, $300. I have um, a $50 Visa card. I got a Target card from one of my mom's brothers. Uh, it's $25. I got a GameStop card from my parents, a $60 GameStop card. I got speakers, which I need more. I already have two, but I needed some more. Um, and then let's get into the main thing. I got a PS Vita for Christmas, and uh, I'm about to go through this and tell you like what my opinion is on all this and stuff and all that. So I have opened it, so... 32 gigabyte memory card. So if you didn't know, this thing needs a memory card, which I think is kind of BS. But you know, it it needs it to hold all the games. And let me try to focus this in here. If you can't see, this thing is a hundred dollars. I mean, they have a four gigabyte one, which comes with it, and then there's an eight, a sixteen, and a thirty-two. And I mean, a thirty-two gigabyte one holds a lot of things, as you can see here. Ever focuses. Also, my phone broke, so. That's why I didn't upload. Uh, yeah, you can't see this. His iPhone's not focusing. So it's a hundred dollars. Holds a lot of things. It holds a, It holds eight to sixteen games, twenty four movies, over nine thousand songs, and over six thousand photos. So I don't know. So also, I got Uncharted: Golden Abyss. Um, along with Black Ops Declassified with the bundle, which I'm about to go over in a minute and show you guys all of that stuff. So, Uncharted Golden Abyss is a really good game so far. I'm on Chapter 3, and there's a lot of chapters in the campaign. It leads up to the Uncharted expectations, in my personal opinion. Now, I'm going to show you something that's bullshit. Look at this. Look at this. Are you kidding me? No pamphlet? No pamphlet in any of these games? I mean, come on. We're paying, like, 45 bucks for this game, and you're not going to give me a 50-cent pamphlet? Stupid. Okay, so here we go. Black Ops Declassified Bundle saving about $70 apparently. And look, oh, it shows that Black Ops Declassified. So on here I see a 4 gigabyte memory card. I see the Vita. And I see Black Ops Declassified in its case. Look what we get. No case. Bullshit. Um, it comes with this thing, and, I mean, I don't know, I mean, look how small this is. Do they expect me to keep up with this? Oh, no. I know what they expect me to do. They expect me to buy the $40 other thing that comes with all the different supplies and the cases to hold all the games and all that stuff, which we're going to get into in a minute. Another con. So, Black Ops Declassified, it's actually really good. Actually, I mean, it's not that bad. People, there's some really bad reviews. It's not actually that bad. And for a handheld system, it's probably the best first-person shooter you'll ever play for a handheld. And uh, I, I will admit, I'm going to tell you some some things on Black Ops Declassified that are really stupid um, in my like review for Black Ops Declassified and Uncharted in the future. And, uh, and then a 4 gigabyte memory card, which it comes with. So, big disappointment. Okay, so let's get into the Vita. So, I have opened it, as I said before, so, you know, the boxing and all that's not that nice. So, let me move this. Okay, so it slides off like that. Okay, and then there's, like, this little thing up top in here. Take that out. Now, the reason why I got a Vita is because a lot of people of my friends have them, actually. Brian has one. Uh, these are all pretty much all shoutouts. Well, Brian, you know, he's on my channel. Zombie Killer has one. God of Warrior has one. Some of my other subscribers have some, and I decided to get one. And it looks pretty good so far, and I like it a lot. So, right here, you got all this bullshit. You got all these pamphlet things. So, put those to the side. Now, I don't have the charging thing in here. It's just a bunch of charging wires, and then it plugs into the wall, so no need to really show you that. 
and then all this stuff, and then play card things, and all that sick stuff. And then we got some more directions. You know, maybe directions on how much they ripped me off on the Black Ops Declassified game. Now, I have put a screen protector on this thing, and uh, this is the Vita itself. It looks really nice. I like it a lot. Now, the screen protecting is bad, but I'm going to go to the store and get like an actual professional to do one, because these things are a hellhole. And it, I like it a lot. And here, I'll even show you the screen when you turn it on. It, it looks really nice. Okay. And see, it has all this nice stuff, and it's really touch sensible. And it, and it works really well. And also, there's an app store to get apps like Netflix, Skype, YouTube, Facebook. If you have a Vita and you're wondering where to get these, go to the PlayStation Store and look under apps. It's very cool. Okay. So that's going to be the unboxing of the Vita pretty much, and uh, there's nothing more really to it. And then the last thing I got is I got a $40 like starting kit. So it came with these cheap-ass PS Vita headsets, which I really didn't want it for. Now these are the things I wanted it for. I, I wanted this nice case. It, it feels good. I don't like those really hard cases because I'm not really going to bring this anywhere. I'm not bringing this to my school or anything. What the hell? So it looks it looks good, and it feels good, and it's like one of those things that's just like... It covers it, it protects it, and, uh, yeah. So then it also came with this, some cloth to clean it. It came with a 4 gigabyte memory card also, and it also came with this thing, which is like a little case. And see, and you can hold all your games in. So this is where I'm going to be holding all my games. Um, I think this thing was actually kind of worth it a little bit. I think they could have lowered the price to 30 bucks, but, you know, it's whatever. So this is what I got for Christmas. I know this was a little bit of a longer video than Brian's because uh, I did the unboxing of this and showed you guys some other stuff. I had a really good Christmas. hope you guys did too. Uh, put in the description if you guys like want me to do some reviews on some of these games for the Vita or play some and do some commentaries on those because I'm sure some people that have Vitas would like to know if those games are good that I got. And uh, peace out, guys.